Hello, in today's video, we're going to be going over lead code number 238, which is product of array except self. And the problem statement is that given an array nums of n integers, where n is greater than 1, we want to return an array output, such that output of i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums of i. So let's look at the example. We have an input array with the values of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so in this case, the answer for the first element of array would be the product of all of the elements except for the element in the zeroth index. So in this case, the answer here would be 24. And then for the second value in this array, it would be again the product of all of the elements in the array except for 2. So that would be 12. And then our third value would be the product of all of the elements in the array except for 3, so that would be 8. And then our fourth value would be the product of all of the elements in the array except for 4, so that would be 6. And so this is the output we should get for our array. And so the most obvious solution to this problem would be to find the product of all of the elements and then iterate through the array and divide by each element. So basically, the total product of all the elements in this array would be 24, because that's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And then, to get our answer, you would just iterate through the array and have 24 divided by each element in our input array. So 24 divided by 1, then 24 divided by 2, then 24 divided by 3, and then 24 divided by 4, which would give us the output which is 24, 12, 8, and 6. And so this is a correct solution. However, if we look at the pro uh, problem more carefully, it asks us to solve it without division and an O of n time, which means that this approach is not a viable approach we can use. So we should try to think of something different. So let's look back at the input array. So let's say we were looking for the output value for index 1. So the value that corresponds to 2, which in this case would be 12. So in order to find this value, we would have to go through all of the leftmost values and all of the rightmost values. So we would have to go through 1, 3, and 4, and we would have to multiply those values together. And so this brings us to our approach to this problem. What we want to essentially do is we want to iterate through all of the leftmost values that are to the left of the current element we're on, and we want to multiply all those values together. So in this case, there's only one value, which is 1, so we would get a product of 1. And then we also want to go through all of the rightmost values. So all of the values after the element to the end of the array, which in this case are 3 and 4, so we would get a product of 12. And then we would want to multiply the left and rightmost values and then get our final answer, which would be 12. And so this is kind of the approach you want to take for each of the elements. And to do this would require two for loops. One for loop that goes from index 0 to right before the element, and then one for loop that goes to right after the element we're currently on to the end of the array. So I'm going to go over the code to this problem in C++. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called size, which refers to the size of the input array. And then I'm also going to create a vector that refers to our final output. And so I'll call it and, and I'll initialize it to have a size of size, which is basically the size of the input array. And then all the values will be initialized to one. And the reason why is because we're going to be multiplying numbers to the elements of the vector. And so we want it to be one, because if it was zero, then we would just keep on getting zero, because zero times any other number is zero. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to get the products of the values to the left of each index. And so to do that, we'll create a variable called current left, which will initialize to one. And then we want to iterate through each of the values of the array. And then as we do that, we want to update current left by multiplying the current nums value and then 
what we also want to do is we want to update the answer vector. So ants of i is going to equal current left. And so what we're doing here is that we're updating each of the values of the vector of ants to equal the product of the values to the left of each index i. And so then we're going to do the same thing for the right. So we're going to create a variable called current right and we'll initialize that to one. And then this time we're going to iterate from in i is equal to size minus one to i is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus. And then same thing, ants of i times equals current right. And then current right times equals nums of i. So we're going backwards in the array and then we keep on multiplying nums of i. And then we keep on accumulating those values and then we keep on updating ants of i accordingly. So we're multiplying ants of i with product of the values to the right of i. And so then at the end, we can return ants and then let's try running this code. And so it's accepted. So let's try submitting. And we get that it works.